I can hear you creeping around down there. Hello users of the internet and welcome to my YouTube channel, where my background setting is constantly changing because I'm nothing if not inconsistent. If you are one of my current 51 subscribers, then welcome back, and if you're not, subscribe. I'm just kidding. Am I? For any of you out there with a Netflix account or access to someone else's Netflix password, you've likely come across Riverdale, the newest iteration of the all-American Archie comic book series. It's honestly become the obsession of teens everywhere, myself included. However, I have a little bit of beef with it, which is why I'm here today, alone, talking to the internet about it. Again. The entire first season of Riverdale has been about the murder of Jason Blossom. Naturally, fans have been freaking out and coming up with crazy conspiracy theories to bide their time until the culprit is revealed. Well, a few days ago the murderer was revealed, and I am shook. And not in a good way. Look, I'm not gonna say I saw it coming, but I certainly know who did. David Lynch in 1991. Has anyone ever heard of a little show called Twin Peaks, early 90s, all about the murder of Laura Palmer? Well, Twin Peaks fans, I have four words for you. It is happening again. Watching the Riverdale season finale, I suffered from an acute case of deja vu, and I'm about to tell you why. If you are not up to date with either of these shows, and want to be, stop watching now because major spoiler alerts are ahead. I am not even kidding, exit this screen right now, go catch up and come back to me in a week when you're in a full on rage like I am. Let me paint you a picture. Laura Palmer, 1990, 17 year old prom queen whose body is found wrapped in plastic washed up in the river. Jason Blossom, 2017, 17 year old prom king whose body is found at the edge of Sweetwater River. Coincidence? I think not. Look, I don't have a problem with this. The creators of Riverdale have said that they were a bit inspired by Twin Peaks, and you know what? That's all well and good. Steal the premise of the show? I don't care. Just do something different with it afterwards. But boy, have things recently escalated from here. As I've already mentioned, Jason Blossom's murderer was revealed on Thursday or Friday, depending on where you're from, and the murderer was found out to be His father, his dad, one of the two people responsible for his birth. Would I be mad at this ordinarily? Honestly, maybe, because it's kind of random, he's kind of an irrelevant character. I'm not really feeling it, to be honest, but that is not the bone I have to pick today. Even if you don't watch Twin Peaks, let's just, just go out on a limb, take a guess as to who the murderer was. Her father, her dad one of the two people responsible for her birth. Because I pride myself on being able to provide this channel with never before seen footage, please enjoy this 100% legitimate clip of the 2017 Riverdale Writers Room. So uh, what are we thinking about the murder of Jason Blossom? Uh, good question. I was thinking go with something unexpected. I was thinking Clifford Blossom, the dad. Okay. Yep, I was thinking Laura. Jason writes in her diary, my father killed me. And all of this happens inside a red room with the dancing dwarf. Then finish with a shot of the gang drinking coffee and eating some cherry pie at the R&R &R diner. It pops diner. That's what I said. Look, I love a good homage as much as the next person, but this is just crazy pants. Literally stealing the premise and the murderer. That makes me a little angry, I'm not gonna lie. I consider myself to be a pretty calm, level-headed person, but Satan, not today. To make matters even worse, the similarities do not stop there. You may recall in episode 11, Cheryl telling us a lovely tale about how the father now has to wear wigs because his hair turned white overnight. When Leland Palmer was possessed by the evil spirit Bob, his hair turned white overnight. Not to mention, at the end of the episode, we see that Father Blossom, Clifford Blossom, 
however you like to refer to him, hanged himself, committed suicide. After Leland Palmer in Twin Peaks was found out to be the murderer, he also killed himself. Because why? Stop stealing plot points now. Creators of Riverdale, I trusted you. I trusted you to make original content and what did you do? You stabbed me in the back. Season 3 of Twin Peaks is coming back May 22nd in Australia this year. David Lynch is already on bringing the Twin Peaks back. Creators of Riverdale, you don't have to do the job for him. Look, this doesn't mean I enjoy Riverdale any less. Of course I'm going to watch the season finale and season 2 and every subsequent season it has because I'm still hooked on it. If it turns out that Clifford Blossom was possessed by an evil random spirit, I'm out. I only have so much patience. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you. I really just wanted to have a little bit of a complaint. So thank you so much for watching. If you're a Twin Peaks fan or a Riverdale fan, or you've never seen either show, please thumbs up, please subscribe, and I will be eternally grateful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Also, just a side note, this is the first video on this YouTube channel that I haven't filmed at 3am. I'm moving on up in the world, my friends.